pretty sure today is Ryan's favorite digital learning day because he gets to watch a YouTube video on how to draw, which he does all the time on his own. Because today's specials is art, right? Yes. What are you learning how to draw? Remember, you can possibly Baby shark. Take time to finish that step. He even pulled out Baby his huge <laughs> little art case. My mom got him this for Christmas. It's really cool. It's by Crayola. It's like a suitcase. And the inside has a bunch of crayons and color pencils, markers. So he's going to use that. And then after he does that, I have to take a picture of his drawing and post it. So we're going to start here and we're going to draw a curve. It comes down like this. I'm going to let him work and I'm going to go right get again, myself ready because Madison has therapy. It just gave me a check mark. You got the first one right? Yeah. Good job. Which object is shortest? It is this one. Where's the It's the B. It's B. I got it right again. Good job. You're yeah. almost done. Which? You only have 10 questions. You gonna come upstairs with mommy? You gonna come watch me get ready? We gotta get you dressed. Come on, keep on going. Girlfriend. <laughs> I gotta go get you dressed and do your hair. I can't believe your therapy office is even open today. Let's go. You stay in mommy's room. I still gotta make my bed. My bed is a disaster. But I'm gonna have her stay in the room with me while I get dressed. Can you say hello to everyone? Mm -hmm. Say we are in quarantine. <laughs> We're self quarantining ourselves mm -hmm. other than taking you to therapy, right? Mm -hmm. Say hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. Hair is a mess. You have schoolwork too, mm -hmm. we gotta do. Yeah, you ready for schoolwork? We gotta practice mm -hmm. your name and tracing lines and circles. Hey friends and welcome to another vlog. So I did have you guys vote on what videos you guys would like to see this upcoming few weeks. Um, and the two videos so far that have gotten the most votes in the past day were vlogs and also cleaning videos. So I'm gonna try to vlog a lot and then also film a lot of cleaning videos for you guys. I'm gonna be stuck at home a lot because of this whole coronavirus that is going on. The kids are actually out of school for three weeks. They are out of school for two weeks. And then the third week is spring break. So we are stuck at home. Um, our state, I'm just going to talk really quickly about the whole coronavirus that is going on. I know a lot of you guys are probably sick of hearing about it, but I'm just going to talk about it really quickly. Um, for myself and my state, like we are not under like any type of um, quarantine or curfew or anything. I know a few places have started. I know California, I think San Francisco, they are now on lockdown for three weeks. And then a part of Jersey has a curfew. So there are different areas um, that are starting to either have curfews or are going on lockdown or quarantine, whatever you wanna call it. My state, Georgia, where I live, we are not in quarantine, but there's a lot of places shutting down, closing people are not able to go to work, schools are closing down. Pretty much all the schools in Atlanta, at least all the public schools are officially closed until the end of March. And then I know a lot of people also are out of work, which really sucks because you know, that's how you pay your bills, it's really scary. So um, my gym is closed. There's a lot, just a lot of places that are closed. Um, even stores are starting to close early. A lot of Walmarts are usually open 24 hours and now they are starting to only be open for certain times. I know Target's doing it as well in Publix. So there's a lot of different stores that are starting to do that. So um, I decided to just self-quarantine. I mean, in the kids, we have not left the house the past few days. I'm trying to stay away from big crowds, stay away from the public as much as possible. If I don't have a reason to leave the house, I don't plan on leaving the house. Um, Today, we are going to leave the house. We've been in the house the past four days. We have not left anywhere other than taking the kids out in the backyard to play for a little bit just to get like fresh air. But other than that, we have not left. Um, but today, Madison does have therapy, which I'm super surprised that they're even open. I even thought about um, just calling and canceling her appointment. But I'm going to go ahead and just take her in. I was able to squeeze her in for two therapies. Today, just in case, later this week, we decide to cancel or they end up closing. At least she got two therapies in. So she does have therapy today and they did push up the time. She usually doesn't have therapy until like around five. Today she has it at three. So I have to leave in about an hour. But um, then also I'm gonna get gas just because we only have about a quarter of a tank and my husband told me just to get gas, fill up the car today. 
just to be safe because everything's closing down. And if the gas station closes down, which I've never heard of the gas stations closing down, but Disneyland, I've never heard of Disneyland and Disney World closing down, they're closed down. So a lot of places are closing down and if the gas station closes down, we're stuck with no gas. And if we have an emergency and we have to leave, we don't have a car with gas. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the tank as well. Um, but this whole coronavirus is just, it's just giving me so much anxiety. Um, and I feel like a lot of people are not taking it as serious as it really is. I'm gonna admit in the beginning, I didn't take it that serious as well. I thought over, I thought people were like over exaggerating about the whole thing. And I wish I would have been one of the ones who stocked up and bought a bunch of stuff because now you can't even find toilet paper. Like it is ridiculous. You go to the stores and it's so scary to see like all the shelves completely cleared out. People are not thinking of others. They're just thinking about themselves and hoarding everything, which makes it hard for people who actually need these supplies like hand sanitizer and toilet paper and wipes and formula and all of that. Now they can't find it because people are hoarding it for themselves and not leaving anything else for anyone else. I think it's also really sad and horrible that people are buying in bulk all this stuff and then trying to resell it like online for like double and triple the price, charging people more than what you can buy it in store and trying to make a profit out of it. I think that's so selfish and I think it's really sad, but, um, for us, we do have some food in the house. Um, I'm not sure if Georgia will ever go on lockdown. Um, if we do, we probably have enough food to last us maybe about two weeks. But now that California is on lockdown for three weeks, I want to see if either Kroger or Target has um, still the drive up option because I don't want to go in store. So I'm going to see if I can order online just a few necessities that we need. Like I can't find toilet paper anywhere and I think we only have like four rolls of toilet paper. So maybe if I can buy some type of miracle find some toilet paper order it and then just a few things um for the house like um we don't really have pasta in the house i checked and we have like half a box of pasta so maybe get some pasta and some canned stuff i do have like a lot of fruits and veggies on hand but that's obviously not gonna last three weeks so i want to try to get some stuff like dry food that'll last um when I went grocery shopping before this whole thing started, I didn't really buy a lot of stuff that would last weeks. I bought a lot of like fruits and veggies and bread and milk, stuff that will go bad in like two weeks. So I'm gonna see if I can order online. If I can, then have it have them like walk it out to the car. Hopefully, if not, then I think we're good for the next two weeks. I'm not sure, but that is the plan for today. Um, like I said, we're not planning on leaving or going anywhere other than today, getting gas and taking medicines and therapy. And then I think later this week or other therapies, I think I'm just gonna call and cancel. I did cancel the kids' doctor's appointments. They had um, doctor's appointments just for like their yearly checkup since Ryan just turned seven and then Madison's going to be six in like two weeks. They just have their yearly checkups. And I did cancel those just because I wanna avoid any type of doctor's office where anyone can be sick. So I did cancel those and I'm not gonna reschedule it until this whole coronavirus passes. Cause like I said, I'm trying to avoid doctor's offices, hospitals and all those other places. So yeah, I'm gonna be stuck at home a lot. So I didn't know really what to record cause I had a lot of videos planned, which had to do with a lot of like shopping. I was gonna do a few shop with me videos. I was gonna do some in-store spring try-ons like at Walmart and Target. And I was thinking about either going to Ross or another clothing store and doing it. But obviously that's out of the picture. I'm trying to avoid crowds and avoid the stores. So can't do that. So a lot of you guys have voted for vlogs um and also like i said cleaning videos so i'll be doing that even though we'll be stuck at home a lot i'll try to make the vlogs a little fun i'm also thinking about doing um activities for kids maybe some educational fun activity for kids um one of you guys suggested or asked if i could upload a video that had to do with like you know stuff to do with the kids at home because a lot of people are going to be stuck at home i know a lot of you guys said you guys are going to be stuck with your kids at home for like the next at least two weeks so I'm gonna film that, probably won't film that today just because um, I probably won't have time to film that today. I'm gonna try to film a cleaning video, maybe like a laundry video. I have a lot of laundry to do, so I'll probably do that. Um, Can I hold up that subscribe sign again? You're gonna hold up the subscribe, yeah. Ryan made a subscribe sign for everyone to subscribe to my channel, but yeah. Enough of my rambling. I don't wanna talk anymore about this whole coronavirus thing. It's scary and it's, like I said, it's sad that a lot of people are taking advantage of others, um, trying to profit off of it. I think it's really sad, but anyways, enough of that. Ryan's finishing up some schoolwork. Oh, you're gonna show them the subscribe button or the subscribe sign. Ryan made that, right? You made that for me? Yeah. Subscribe.
subscribe to mommy's channel. <laughs> All right, finish your work. So we gotta go in an hour. Is it upside down? No, it's not. Okay, finish your work. You have one more um work you should do. Oh, my kids for oh my god, this lighting. Um, my kids for school have digital learning days. I don't know what just happened to this lighting. I'm sorry, you guys. Um. My kids for school have digital learning days. So instead of um, them having to make up these days at the end of the year, like during summer, what they have is digital learning days. So every day the teacher logs on, it's called E-class. They log on and they put work for the kids to do and they have to turn it in. Some of the work is like on the computer where the teacher actually can see it and grade it. And then some of it is actually on paper. And then once they go back to school, they have to turn in all those worksheets. So we're printing out a lot of stuff at home, but that's what Ryan's doing. He's finishing up his last one. He started this morning. Um, oh my gosh, just lighting, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, he started this morning. He only, only has one more worksheet to do. Madison has some stuff to do as well. So he's going to finish that up. I'm going to get some lunch for the kids. Try to fix this lighting. I don't know what happened to it. And then I also want to do a workout. My gym is posting a lot of like live workouts and stuff that you can rewatch. So I'll try to do that as well. Hopefully when I get back and then the laundry. So hopefully you guys aren't bored with this vlog. It's going to be a lot of me at home. But like I said, I'm going to try to make it as interesting as possible. So I'm going to make the kids some lunch and see you guys in a little. You know, hold Subscribe to my mommy's channel. Can, can, can they, can, can they, they see, see the Godzilla? Yeah. What do you have there? My new book. What book is that? It's How to Draw Tiger Monsters. By who? I, I wish I would have recorded him when we first gave it to him. He was jumping up and down for like 10 minutes straight yeah. screaming that he got this book. He loves to draw, you guys know. And I guess he uses, what, he uses numbers to help you draw? Yeah. So he'll use numbers. So like for this one, he's using a number two and he's drawing this little creature. It's called... The, what is that called? Do you know how to read that? It's a ripped tiger. <laughs> Thing. All right, well, um, yeah, so for each one, pretty much you draw a number and then it's step by step. So I think this was like eight dollars off of Amazon. I couldn't find it anywhere else. The only place I could find it they sold it was Amazon. So he had, I think, like $25 from birthday money. So he spent eight dollars from one. his birthday money to get this. So you're gonna draw some before you go to bed. Bedtime's like in 15 minutes. And look, you didn't fully dry it, he just got the shower and. As you can see, the water is dripping down his face. He didn't dry himself completely because he was so excited about this. Which one are you going to draw? Uh, I don't know. I may, I may draw this crazy one. That's a, that looks like a really hard one, buddy. It's really easy because six, and then, and then look, you draw six, then you just draw that. That's look, cool. Let me see the front of the book to easy. show them. Even though it looks hard, it's easy. Let me see the front of the book. So this is what it's called. He has a bunch of different ones to choose from. This is the one that he chose, so... Go ahead, draw some, and then you gotta go to bed in like 15 minutes, okay? These skies have a different light, why noise it keeps me up at night? I can't help but think back to you. I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize. I replay the memory of you. It's been hard. The grocery store isn't as bad as I thought, but I am in the baby section and I'm gonna turn the camera around. Um, the diapers are pretty cleared out. There is a few areas that are pretty cleared out, but for the most part, they do still have a lot of food. I guess the only thing that worries me is if we do go on lockdown and I can't make it to the store and then I run out of food. But I did pick up a few things. I have cereal and oatmeal. I got a can of chili. I got like two cans of some chicken. So I'm going to see if they have toilet paper really quickly and they do grab that and I'm going to head out because I did, forgot they are closing early. They're usually open to like midnight and they're closing in like 20 minutes. So I need to hurry up and get out. Okay, so I'm in the paper towels and uh, toilet paper section and they don't even have paper towels. So this is where all the paper towels are usually at and this is where the toilet paper is and there's nothing I knew. I wasn't going to have any luck, but I thought I would try. So I can't find any toilet paper, but I did find some dude wipes. I'm not sure how much these are. $7 for a pack of 48. I probably have better luck finding or getting baby wipes, but I, that was funny. This is literally the only thing that's left. 
All right guys, so it is currently the next day. I never finished vlogging yesterday. So I wanna jump on here really quickly to close out the vlog. I do apologize that this vlog is a very chit chat style vlog. I know I said I was gonna to try to make the vlog exciting, but that's just what happens. I just completely forgot to pick up the camera and I got super busy yesterday. So I do apologize about that. Um, as you guys saw in the previous clip, I did end up having to go in store to the grocery store. So long story short, after Madison's therapy, I ended up just going to get gas. I did not go to the grocery store. I got gas and I came straight home because like I said, I'm trying to avoid leaving the house, going to stores, going anywhere where there's a lot of people. Um, and they didn't have the drive up option for Target, Walmart or Kroger. Um, for like the next two days, which I said was fine. I was like, I don't really need toilet paper and stuff right this instant. So I didn't go, but maybe two hours after I got home, I just gave my period, which is weird because I should not have gotten it for another like two weeks. I don't know if it's just because my anxiety, my stress has caused me to get it early, but I did get it and I only literally had two tampons on hand. Um, I literally only had two tampons on hand, so I had no choice, but I had to go to the store. So I did wait until Robert got home from work, so I would not have to take the kids in store. So I waited for Robert to get home. He got home a little before 8. It was like 7.50 when he got home. So I ran out really quickly to Kroger, and I grabbed the necessities that I needed. And since I was there, you want to say something? You want to say hi? <laughs> Um, since I was already there picking up tampons, I decided just to grab a few grocery items. I didn't stay in there long. I was in and out super quickly. I literally grabbed maybe three or four canned foods. I grabbed a box of cereal, some crackers, stuff like that. And then of course my necessities I needed. I also got some bar soap. I was out of like bar soap as well. And then I left, but I did show you guys how empty it is. Um, now I do think my Kroger was stocking just because it wasn't as empty as I feel like a lot of other people have showed like their store. So maybe it's just my location or where I live. I'm not sure, but paper towels and the toilet paper was completely cleared out. There wasn't one single roll of toilet paper or paper towels, which I'm not surprised. I knew that was going to happen. There also wasn't any like hand sanitizer or hand sanitizer, like wipes. There was a few things that were cleared out, like certain meats were completely cleared out. Certain frozen foods were completely cleared out. A lot of canned stuff was also cleared out, but for the most most part I did have a lot of things still on hand so that's good um so yeah I'm probably going to do a grocery order for this week or this weekend probably Friday or Saturday just because they are still doing that option of drive up they just weren't offering it like same day so I usually don't do my groceries until like Friday or Saturday so I'll probably try to put in the order today or tomorrow and then pick it up maybe on Friday where I don't have to go into the store so that is the plan, but enough of my rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. Um, I am going to try to vlog for the rest of the week. You guys voted for vlogs and also cleaning videos. So that's what I'm gonna try to film as much as possible for you guys. If you guys have any video suggestions, like specific videos you guys would like to see, leave it in the comments down below and I'll go ahead and try to film that for you guys and get it up really soon. I won't have any shopping videos for I don't know how long, so it really sucks because I want to do like some spring shop with me and spring in-store try-ons, but, but that's not going to happen for a while until this whole coronavirus thing is over, which I don't know how long it's going to last because I just got a notification saying that the kids are going to officially be out of school until April 13th or April 14th. Um, so the kids are going to be at school for longer than what we expected. I know Florida right now just announced that they are closed for the rest of the year, which is crazy. So I hope that doesn't happen here in Georgia, but they are out of school until the second week of April. Anyways, now I'm starting to ramble on. So just leave any video suggestions that you guys would like to see down below. Please stay safe, stay home. If you guys don't need to leave your house, don't leave your house. Just stay home. That is the best thing you can do right now. So. That is what we're doing. We're gonna stay self quarantine. Hopefully tomorrow we can take a walk around the neighborhood because today that's not gonna happen. Right, guys, I hope you guys still enjoyed this vlog, even though it was a very chit chat style vlog. Um, I'm gonna insert the clips of when I went up to the mountains a week ago with my cousin when she was visiting. I'll insert that right after this clip and then the vlog will end. So I love you guys. If you have not already, please consider subscribing and turning a notification bell. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Subscribe to mommy's channel. You have to push, mommy, you have to push yourself back. Yeah, like that. Yeah, mom, you gotta push yourself back. <laughs> Go, Emmy. Arms. <laughs> Go. Good shit, Jim. Shit, strong as freaking hell. All right, I can't go any closer.
That's close as hell. What are you guys doing? Coloring. You're coloring? We're just, and we're just pretending the salmon cat are here. That salmon cat? Who's salmon cat? Is there are people in her favorite show. Mm. What are you drawing, Alex? A pig. A pig? What are you drawing, Ryan? Godzilla. Of course. Those are good drawings. I got you on camera saying <laughs> with open arms. <laughs> <laughs> How is she going to eat those? <laughs>